Let us begin our lesson on C-charts. C-charts are used for monitoring non-conformance or defectives. C may stand for count because we are counting the number of defective items in a process. The equation for the C-chart centerline is C-bar equal to the average of defects for a given time period. The upper control limit is C-bar plus 3 times the square root of C-bar. The lower control limit is C-bar minus 3 times the square root of C-bar. Let's say a business wants to monitor the number of defects in the door panels they are manufacturing. The manager counts the defects every day for 5 days and tabulates them. The first step would be to find the total defects. After getting the summation, we compute for the average. We use the C-bar equation. The average defects is 7.8. We then compute for the upper control limit and the lower control limit. UCL is 16.17. LCL is negative 0.57. Note that when the lower control limit is negative, we will replace it with 0. Since a lower control limit cannot be a negative. Now we develop the C-chart. Upper control limit is 16.17 and lower control limit is 0. The C-bar center line is 7.80. We plot the defects per time period. Since no points are beyond the control limits, we can say the number of defects or non-conformance is in control. If a sample point goes beyond the control limit, this means the process is out of control and what is causing this variation has to be investigated and corrected. <music>